That's how I feel after watching this franchise. What a piece of shit. Like, this entire franchise, none of them have been good. City of Angels was the one I actually debated on being decent. Like, that's the one that I thought was a good watch. It was a solid time. I liked it. But the other three have been extremely boring. And somehow... It got even worse. Because apparently if Salvation was not a low enough low to sink. Apparently you can sink even lower. <sighs> please. Please. New one be better than all these movies. <sighs> Let's just get this over with so I never talk about it again. What's up? What's happening? It's going by one bad to animation station. This is your friend thing and everything animation, including TV and movies. I'm your host, Jackson Small. Very pissed off, Jackson Small, as you can see. And I just wasted my life watching The Crow Wicked Prayer. Fourth movie in the franchise. Another one that tries to have a different crow. And another one that doesn't fucking work for shit. Yeah, no censoring or nothing. This has a 14 plus on it for a reason. Because I am not holding back on these movies. Because this is the worst first time watch of a franchise that I've had in a good fucking while. It should have never been a franchise to begin with. After City of Angels, it should have just ended. Because that is as close as it got to actually being watchable. These other ones have been boring, slow, tedious, monotonous. Just time-wasting piles of trash. Yes, including the original. And I know that's a controversial opinion. If you like that movie, more power to you. But, in my opinion, City of Angels was the closest this franchise ever got to actually being decent. These other three have been a pain in the ass to sit through. All three of them. The original was a bitter disappointment. City of Angels showed improvement, but was still marred by a lot of that movie's problems. Salvation was bottom barrel garbage. And somehow this sinks even lower in that bottom barrel. Because Wicked Prayer is just as bad as you've heard, if not even worse. It is a piece of shit movie that doesn't even know it's a piece of shit movie. It tries to be some sim like symbolistic, pretentious, up its own ass kind of thing. But man, it's shit. There's no other way to put it. It is plain, flat out shit. Like, at least Madam Web, a terrible movie from this year that I refused to review, at least had funny Pepsi memes that came out of it. This has nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. For the second time in a row. It baffles me why anyone thought that either of these last two Crow movies were a good idea because both of them have been absolute dog shit. Oh, sorry. Bird shit. Excuse me. So, let's just get through this written review nice and quick because it sums up everything I have to say about this movie and I, I'm just done giving a fuck. I really hope that the new movie tomorrow is leagues better than all of these because otherwise, honestly, you can skip this whole franchise. Watch the first one out of your own curiosity, then watch the second one, see if it may or may not surprise you like it did me, and then pretend the rest of them don't exist. Here's my written review. I hope you enjoy. Fuck this movie. Somehow it got even worse because this is the worst movie in the entire franchise, and considering that no movies in this franchise so far are actually good to begin with, that really goes to show just how absolutely pathetic that is. All the issues of Salvation are carried over here and somehow have gotten even worse. Acting is even more terrible, which is absolutely inexcusable from legends like Tara Reid and Danny Trejo. Effects are the absolute worst that they've ever been yet. The green screen's back in full force. There's so much cutting away from kills that it's absolutely just laughable. Like, 
This movie is damn near bloodless. It's fucking pathetic. The story is even more boring. It's just the same kind of deal as the original. It's a guy and a girl that were going to get married and they get killed before they get married. So the guy comes back to kill the people that killed them before they got married. Yeah, not an original thought in your fucking brain, right? Action is even more lazy. The action in this movie sucks. Plain and simple, it, it absolutely sucks. Writing is even more terrible. I didn't think that was possible after Salvation, but yeah, this somehow this writing is even more terrible. Fucking terrible fucking garbage fucking writing. Pacing is even more agonizing. Somehow this is even more of a tedious slow burn than the original. And that is saying something. Runtime is absolutely obnoxious. All of the characters somehow suck even more than the boring planks of wood from Salvation. I don't care about the crow. I don't care about his murdered girlfriend. I don't care about the villains. I don't care about any of the side characters. I just plain simply don't give a fuck about anyone in this movie. The kills are even more off screen and restrictive. Tame star rating I've ever seen. The crow's design is by far the worst one yet, using a freaking sharpie instead of paint. Why? In the ever-loving flying fucking hell would you ever use a sharpie for your black lines of your main character instead of paint? Like, at least with Salvation, they had kind of an explanation for it. Like, it was formed underneath all the electrocuted, burnt-off flesh of his face. And at least in City of Angels, again, I'm going to keep praising that movie because that's the best this franchise has ever gotten so far. It had paint. Was it as good as paint of the original? No, but it wasn't supposed to be because it was paint that was used by his dead son for his drawings. It had purpose. It fit the story. This is just straight up no budget whatsoever. Like, hey, well, what, what can we use to try and maybe uh, make our main character look cool? Do the black lines of the crow like we always do. Oh, uh, um, how about a Sharpie? Yeah, th that's going to work. Throw that in there. Put that in the script. Can you get any lazier than that? A Sharpie. A fucking Sharpie. The ending is even more stupid, you get the point. Honestly, after suffering through these back-to-back -back trash piles, I'm considering bumping City of Angels up to a 6 because it at least tried. After watching these two back-to-back -back absolute insufferable, unwatchable, must-avoid shit piles, I'm thinking about bumping City of Angels up to a 6 because it tried to be its own thing. It actually tried to be a movie. These two direct-to-DVD things are just... Pieces of shit. Pieces of shit that should have never even existed in the fucking first place. And honestly, after a trash bag like this, it's no wonder that it took this long to get another one. Pathetic. Absolutely fucking pathetic. Avoid it. And honestly, avoid this entire franchise, because besides City of Angels, this was one of the absolute worst first-time watches of a franchise I've ever had, period. This was a terrible idea, and I regret doing it. But at least now I never have to talk about these fucking shit piles again. You know why? Because this is the second movie in a row that I'm going to be giving a final verdict of a damning, lowest possible it can possibly go, ZERO out of ten. Zero. Do not watch it. Not even out of your curiosity. It's not fucking worth it. No thought, no passion, no effort, no originality, nothing. This movie has fucking nothing. I really hope the new one's good. Please, for the love of everything that's good for my sanity, please, new one, be good. I like the trailer. I like that you're going in a very, very R-rated direction. Just please be good. Please, please be good. And that's it. We have now covered all four of the previous Crow movies. What a fucking terrible idea this was. Like, I knew that some of these sequels were going to be bad, but I didn't know how low this franchise was going to sink. But we have a new one coming out. 
It's trying to be its own different thing. It has a different style. Maybe, just maybe, it can resurrect this shit franchise. Just maybe. Or, you know, maybe the Tata Gatekeepers will just ruin everybody's fun because they're too obsessed with the fucking original. Which wasn't even good to begin with. I'm done. That's it. And that's the only video you're getting today because I'm so pissed off that I... Yeah. I mean, you're probably going to get a live stream today. I don't know. But I'm just glad to be done with this franchise. New one be good. Please, for the love of fuck, be good. That's it. Thanks for watching. Fuck this movie. Fuck this franchise. And I'll see you in the next review. Bye. We cannot take it anymore. The time is too late. We can't find what we're ready for.